Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime and we are going to look here at a two-step equation. So notice the directions say solve the equation and as usual I can tell that this is something I can solve, I can figure out what m is equal to, uh, because it has a really true relationship. In this case, it's an equation, a relationship of equality between two expressions. Uh, that means I can solve it. I can figure out what m is equal to. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's work to solve this equation to get the letter alone. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is draw my little line down this equal sign so that I can tell the left-hand side from the right-hand side. You can see there's two numbers I need to get rid of, a 17 and a negative 4. Now, I'll just remind you guys that um, when we're solving, we actually work the order of operations backwards. So you should move anything that's adding or subtracting away first. So I'm going to move this 17 away. By doing the opposite of adding 17, I'll subtract 17. Now, of course, as we've learned, you can do whatever you want when solving, as long as you do it to both sides. So I'm going to take 17 away from both the left-hand side and the right-hand side of my equation. And let's see what happens, what my new equation will be. Okay, so on this side, adding 17 and subtracting 17 are opposites. They'll cancel. The only thing I have left is that negative 4m. It will drop. It is still part of my new equation. Now, this is a new equation, so I need an equal sign. Now, I can do this math in my GED uh, calculator, negative 3 minus 17. I promise if you do, you'll get negative 20. Uh, not negative 14, which is the most common wrong answer I get. Great. I'm not done yet because the letter is still not alone. See how this M has this negative 4 shoved up against it? Be really careful. A lot of people want to try to get rid of that negative 4 by adding 4. That would be a really bad mistake. Right now, do you see how the negative 4 is shoved up against the M with no space in between? Those things are not adding and subtracting, they are multiplying. This is a negative 4 multiplying with m. So I'm going to get rid of it by doing the opposite of multiplying. The opposite of multiplying is dividing. And again, you can do whatever you want to an equation as long as you do it to both sides. On this side, um, let me pull out my different pen for my new equation color. N multiplying by negative 4 and dividing by negative 4 are opposites. They cancel, so m is alone like I wanted. See how that's the only thing over there? And on this side, there's the math to do. Negative 20 divided by negative 4, and you could type that in your calculator, but I, you should get positive 5. So what number would m have to be to make this equation true? m would have to equal 5. All right, if you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments, and I'll do my best to answer it.